This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollamore. You ever wonder what it's like to grow up rich? I do. I've often wondered what it's like to have grown up with unconditional positive regard. What it was like for someone to grow up with average or below average talent and intellect and ability, but because they grew up rich, they think the world is at their command. (laughs) This seems to be the case with Laura Trump. I don't know if she grew up rich, uh, but she certainly is rich now, and she certainly believes that the world is at her command beck and call, that she possesses abilities and talents that are greater than those that she actually possesses. She is apparently, (laughs) this is Eric Trump's wife, she's apparently endeavoring a music career. She was on Hannity, I got two clips to play. One is her whining that they're not playing my music, my songs. They're not demonstrating the great and mighty talents that I possess. They're shadow banning me because they're afraid of the truth that I'm telling. She tells Fox News this, and then I'm gonna play a clip of her being coerced into singing live on television And maybe that will tell us why it is they're not playing her song on the radio. Watch this first one on Fox News. It's really sad because this is the kind of treatment. You just can't make this up. I mean, you really can't. Yeah. Uh, Well, but this is the kind of treatment that I think conservatives are used to. We're used to being censored. We're used to being shadow banned, which certainly I already know my song was shadow banned. Uh, So many people told me on Apple. Apple Music, on Spotify, on Amazon Music. They wouldn't put my song on the radio because it was too political. Do you think that's what it is? Could it be her song is too political to put on the radio? Because in her mind, it can't be her lack of talent. It can't be her lack of possessing any ability musically whatsoever. It must be something else. Because she is clearly a renowned talent, vocally, at the very least, right? Maybe not compositionally. Maybe she doesn't have the the technical attributes necessary to produce phenomenal music. But, But surely, surely she sings like a goddess. <laughs> All right. Enough. Here we go. Here's Laura Trump on Sky News, the the um, the British television station, where she's asked, well, sing us a few notes, sing us a few bars of your song, to which Laura Trump eagerly gives them a sampling. Now, Laura, I, I cannot let you go without bringing up something I saw on your social media this week, and that was a release of a single that you have apparently recorded. Is this fake news or is this real? You are so nice. Let me just start by saying that I am not a professional singer. I'm not seeking this as a career. I have always loved music. (laughs) I've played the piano my whole life and I got an opportunity to record a cover of an incredible song, Tom Petty's I Won't Back Down. And I said, who would turn this down if you get an opportunity like this? So I'm sure I'll get a lot of critique from all the haters out there of my voice and and my singing ability. Uh, I'm great on a karaoke stage after people have had a couple of drinks, (laughs) but I'm very proud of what I've done. And I think it's a great track and it's a a new spin on a song that so many people know. So really excited that it it comes out officially today here in America. Well, you have to sing us a line here on Aaron, come on. I'll do my my best without any music or anything, okay. (laughs) Well, I won't back down. No, I won't back down. You can stand me up at the gates of hell, but I won't back down. And there's more to come. (laughs) (laughs) No, thanks. (laughs) No, thanks, Laura Trump. Uh, We don't need more to come. You're tone deaf. Nothing you could do about it. 
being tone deaf is an affliction, just like uh, being colorblind, you're tone deaf. It is not melodic. <laughs> it is not harmonic. <laughs> you don't possess the ability to sing on key. You can't hear the note. You don't even know that you're off the note. So to quote the great and mighty Randy Jackson, it's going to be a no for me, dog. <laughs> Again, this, I believe, I mean, I grew up poor. I grew up exceedingly poor, welfare, free lunch, what we called commodities, you know, like the, the government cheese, all of that. So I always describe this type of thinking to growing up rich and believing you possess mighty talents that you just don't have. The world bends to your will because you're rich and you're, you're powerful and you're influential, not because you possess talents or abilities. It goes the same way with like Donald Trump thinking he is special and has special abilities because he's always just been told yes. Because what he does comes to fruition because of money, not because of talent or brains. We're seeing this with Elon Musk right now, who, who, who really truly believes, I think, that he is special and does possess special intelligence when he's just a rich kid who's always been a rich kid. I, I don't know. I guess I'll throw it to you. Am I wrong about this? Is this a byproduct of being wealthy and thinking you possess special abilities that you just don't possess? Because that's nonsense. Uh, my guess would be, you're not getting played on the radio because your song is trash, Laura Trump. Your song is trash, much like you are trash, and your views are trash, and your politics are trash, and your family is trash. But maybe it's shadow banning, who knows? Anyway, what do you think? You can comment below. We can disagree agreeably in the comments. You can also call and leave me a brief voicemail, 714-576-4054. Of course, you can email me daily at dollamore.com. I'd love to hear from you. If you appreciate what I do, my take, the way I say it, my stupid, stupid face, uh, you can um, please consider supporting my work. I got caught up in the, in the joke. Uh, please consider supporting my work, helping produce what I do here. Click the join button below, and for $2 a month, you can help produce what we do here, help support this operation. Uh, you can also hit the super thanks button. You can buy some merch. You can share this video. You can like this video. You can uh, make sure you're subscribed, or you can go over to patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast. You can also Follow me on social media if that's your thing. I'm at Dollamore on Twitter, Instagram, Threads, TikTok, Facebook, all of them at Dollamore. That's where I am. I'd love to see you there. Anyway, uh, I won't, what was the song? I don't even know now. It's too much. I was going to sing some bars. <laughs> I'll see you next time. Be genuine. Take care of one another.